Hello, my name is Taryn Kate, and I've been helping run the .ai registry for more than half a dozen years now. If you've ever contacted us over email or phone, there's actually a chance that you bumped into me instead. Um, there's been a few rumors floating around about .ai that we felt we should address. When the fiber optic cable was cut, we went to St. Martin the very next day and purchased a used Starlink satellite internet dish. We had internet up and running in the Mason complex that afternoon. All the companies that we deal with just queued up their new registrations, and they came in once we had internet again. The total sales that week were unaffected. Existing names kept working fine, no one's websites went down, as we use hundreds of name servers around the world. Telecom providers in Anguilla have added redundancy with satellite and microwaves to prevent future outages of that scale. We now have three Starlink dishes just in case. At the start of 2023, .ai was generating $3 million a month. It will be double this amount in April 2025. We know this because we sell domains for a minimum of two years. This means income from renewals lags behind income from new registrations by about two years. And when the names reach their expiration dates, people will renew their domains and the revenue will be about six million. Any domain that doesn't have its renewal paid for ends up getting put up for auction before it's deleted. So even expired domains are still able to generate revenue for the country. If bid on, these domains make more than a normal registration. When we started selling domains worldwide, sales were around 2,500 per month and have really doubled about 11 times in the last 15 years, so doubling every year and a half on average. We already have most of the big registrars like GoDaddy, Namecheap, and Key Systems. These registrars have an interest in advertising themselves as a place to purchase .ai domain names. As for marketing, every single .ai domain name is a billboard for .ai. When someone goes to a website ending in AI, they are made aware that this is an option that they can choose for registering domains. The fact that we double every year and a half and that we'll reach half the government's revenue in a few months is proof enough that existing marketing is working just fine. As an Anguillian that was trained to manage it, we're able to train Anguillians. We actually offered to train anyone that the government wanted us to, and we believe it's best for Anguilla to run it. Effectively, Anguilla has been running the registry on its own for the past 30 years. We already have the local knowledge, and we could just sit down with a few government employees, and within a month, they could be doing the majority of the work, with us supporting them as long as they feel it necessary, until they're comfortable doing the whole thing themselves. We were giving the government 94% of gross sales the month we found out they had found a replacement for us. We were doing a sliding percentage where we gave the government 1% more per month. It being run locally also means all the money ends up staying inside of Anguilla. We're more than happy to train the government right away and let them keep 100% of the money. Thank you so much for listening. There's a link in the description of the video that can take you to a video of our talk given at the Anguilla Chamber of Commerce, and another link that can take you to the slides used in that video.